Welcome to the review. Uh, Sonic couldn't make it because he's currently fighting Metal Sonic, but uh... <laughs> Glad you're here. We got a package. Yeah, we're not reviewing these guys yet. We're still waiting on the last one, the black one, but uh, he'll come soon, hopefully. Enough of the hoopla. As you read the title, we got the ultimate Shadow the Hedgehog plush toy. And uh, I'm out of here with this guy. Look at him. Wow, this is insane. Um, nice wrap you got here. Um, I love it. Um, uh, yeah, he looks really nice. As you can see here, this is the deluxe plush, not the ultimate plush, but I'm not going to change the title because I'm too lazy and I already made the thumbnail before I even got the plush. I don't really care. And, uh, yeah, this is pretty nice. We got the, you know, no shadow on the... Oh, there he is. I was wondering where this guy was. Yeah, he's on the packaging. Of course he is. On the back here, you get a nice little logo pick and a nice elongated picture of what he is on the box. Uh, we don't get any description or whatever. And here are the figures that you can find in Walmart and Target right now wherever you are as you can see i'm missing the shadow he's so hard to find i mean i'm glad i found these guys all at the same time i don't probably have to go back to target or something to find the last one but um yeah without further ado let's crack this bad boy wide open and see this guy in the flesh because he's still behind this wrapping paper Ooh, look at this goofy boy by the way if you like sonic the hedgehog 3 and are excited for the movie go ahead and smash that like button your support means a lot this is old buddy out of the packaging. They also have the three back spikes on him too. I don't know why they couldn't do that with Sonic. I don't know why it didn't. It just just add another one. It's it's not hard. But here Shadow is. His mouth is to the side here. Um, the muzzle looks a little off. He looks a little special, but it's, it's okay. Um, yeah, hopefully. I mean, that's. I, I mean, I think that might be fixable. I don't really know. His his eyes are this hard plastic. I was about to call it glass. That would be insane. You could just like. His fur, this is like a, a nice fur type texture. It goes perfect with the movie style of the plushes. And um, yeah, it's just perfect. I mean, his back spike is just, he has the perfect amount of back spikes. He looks perfect. I mean, I don't, <laughs> he looks perfect. I mean, besides the, the muzzle thing, um, the muzzle thing is a little weird. Uh, but his face is nice. Uh, I mean, it could be shaped a little differently. A um, little bit of false advertisement on like the back here. That looks a lot better than what the frick this guy is, man. What the fuck? Grapes. If you've seen the movie Sonic Deluxe uh, Plush, which I actually have, I might as well get that to compare. But it's the exact same thing, just Shadow and his tough fur, and obviously the new back spike in the back, and his also new fur. You know, it's just Shadow, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's pretty nice. Oh, shoe detail. Did not know that was there. Nice shoe detail. Nice, very, 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 very nice shoe detail. Um, nice, cool, um, that detail. Um, <laughs> I'm really bad at review, can you tell? Here's your 13-inch lineup, which we also I also brought in a Prime Sonic, because why not? It's another one of those 13-inch plushes that Jack Specific made. Which, um, I mean, he looks a little goofy, too, but, you know, I mean, he's he's fine-ish. You know, I mean, it's 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 passable, okay? It's passable. It's a plush toy. Nice-looking plush toy. Would I use it in, like, a plush series? Uh, probably not. The thing about these plushes is the way that they're set up, they don't have much mobility. Like, his hand is sort of stuck in this little position here. As in, for this plush, you can, like, you know, move it around and stuff. You can be like, hey, what's up, my boy? But for these plushes, they're kind of forced to have their hand down. I mean, you can obviously move it up and do stuff, but at the same time, it's still like a, it's, it's like a limiter. But they look amazing, and they feel great. Same with their legs, by the way. They can't do all the other stuff that the loose plushes can do, if that makes sense. But for comparison, we have Movie Sonic here, which is a lighter fur, which I don't really like. It should have been this color. That would have made it a little bit better. And, um, yeah, but this is the Movie 2 version. Um, I did buy the Movie 3 version to see if it was any different. That's coming tomorrow. Should be fun. Do you want a review on that? I'll give you a review on that. I don't think there's, like, a reason to get a review on that, but I will do it. Lighter shade of blue, which I think it should have been a little darker. Not this dark, but just a little bit darker. Like, I, uh, eh, yeah, I like that blue. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much that Sonic. Um, they're the same thing. Nice little shoe detail. Good shoe detail on both of these guys. And, the, uh, you know, that, the, the cuff detail. You know, yeah, re review type stuff. Um, same mobility, pretty much. You can't do much with these guys. Um, they're nice to have. 
I guess. If you are looking for this shadow plush, good luck. I had to go on freaking eBay and overprice them. And then they came out on freaking Target for like two minutes and then they sold out the moment I freaking got my hands on Anywho, everybody really wants these plushes, so good luck finding them. And if they're ever in stores, pick it up immediately because you're probably not going to see it again. Along with every other piece of merchandise for this movie, every time I find it, it's like nothing. It's literally nothing. But um, yeah, this is the review. This movie's gonna be nice and uh, yibbity scabbity boobity. Like and subscribe. YouTube, this video is not for kids. I will cuss. I will do it. Fuck you.